Okay guys, so here we are in Longtail Pro. We have all of our terms that are pulled for us now. And just to make sure that everything is pulled correctly, I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to click on Average Keyword Competitiveness. <laughs> and as you can see here, it has skipped some terms. If we wanted to, we could go back and we could pull all of these terms that it missed. I'm going to skip over some of these that don't have any searches. We can go ahead and calculate the few that do, but I might just skip over them for time's sake because sometimes it can take a little while for it to go ahead and calculate all of these scores. As you can see here right now, <laughs> it's not even letting me uh, scroll down the page while it's loading. So we'll just give that a minute. There it goes. Okay, so it did skip kind of kind of a lot of terms. If we were doing this for, you know, a real client or ourselves, I would definitely recommend that you go back through and recheck all of these that it missed. But since we are just doing this for a demonstration and for demo purposes, I'm going to skip that for now so that we can move on. So we're going to export that. Name it whatever you'd like. I'm going to save that and then I'm just going to go ahead and prepare for the next round of research and go ahead and delete all those terms. Now if you wanted to, you could sort right here within Longtail Pro if you wanted to. If you, it was just you doing your own site, you could sort by you know favorites. You could favorite each one if you wanted to and delete the rest so it would just save those. And I will be doing a little demo on this in just a little bit, so we'll come back to that. For now, let's take our terms. Let's go out of here and let's sort them. So let's open that up. These are all of our terms. There's a few columns here that we don't need so we can go ahead and get rid of them. We won't need the notes column so we can go ahead and delete that. We're going to leave suggested bid. We're going to leave local searches. We're going to get rid of global searches. We're going to go ahead and leave advertiser competition. We're going to get rid of number of number of words I don't find that very helpful, but you could leave it if you wanted to. We're also going to delete Google title and Bing title because there's never anything that comes up for that anyways, so it's not helpful to us. We're definitely going to leave average KC, that's our organic competition, and we're going to get rid of all the rest of these columns over here. So now I like to move some things around just to make the the research easier to read. If you were doing PPC keyword research or or research for Google AdWords, you could leave it in the order that it's in right now. But usually I like to at least put the searches first and then from there. So this would be how you would organize it for for Google AdWords keyword research. You want the, the searches, the suggested bid, and then the advertiser competition, and finally the organic competition at the end because that's secondary. Now when it comes to organic competition, we want to reorganize it a little bit differently. So you're going to go ahead, come up here, go shift control down. It's going to copy all of the text on the page. We're going to create a new sheet or a new tab we're going to paste that right in there. While it's all still highlighted, we're going to copy that and we're going to create one more tab as well. So now you have three different tabs. The first tab I like to rename all, as in all research, and you could put all research if you wanted to. In the second tab, I'm going to name that PPC recommendations or you could say AdWords recommendations. And then the third sheet, I'm going to name organic recommendations. 
Okay, so we have our three tabs. The first is you're not going to be doing really anything with this. You want this to be as is, especially if you're doing this for a client, because you want them to see all of the research that you went through. Now we could organize this by search, search volume if we wanted to, and sometimes I do like to do that. Just makes it a little bit easier for them to read, and for us as well. So sort by local searches, and now it's sorted all of these keywords by their search volume. You may need to go ahead and pick out the 10K to 100K. They just get mixed in there a little bit and also the 100K. So we'll put that down here, reorganize all of this, put it at the very bottom. Now we have oops, now we have all of our terms properly organized by search volume. And what I also like to do is I'll take all these zeros, these zero search keywords, and I will put them at the very bottom. Because they can still be useful for certain things, but obviously they're not going to be our go-to keywords to use not super valuable okay so we're gonna cut all these paste them at the bottom and now we are ready to begin so this would be a better place honestly to then copy and paste all of your research so I did that a little a little sooner than I should have. And also, I'm going to rename these as well. I like to rename this average, sorry. Average monthly searches. And my caps was on, whatever. And then here I like to do cost per click price. Sometimes I will ne even name it AdWords. So, you know, especially when I was doing research on Fiverr, this is exactly how I would name it out so that it was just everyone knew there was no questions. And then I like to do AdWords competition and then organic keyword competition. So that makes it very easy for everyone to understand. At this point is where I would create those new tabs now that I have everything labeled and organized the way I like it. So let's just go ahead and do that one more time so that we don't have to manually do all of this editing again. Insert that. Copy. Insert that. So there we go. Now we are, we're ready to begin sorting 